Thank you, uh, media partners, for participating in the, this pre-match press conference ahead of Rwanda versus Ethiopia game for the African Nation Championship 2022 qualifying game. Uh, before starting to receive some questions from the media, let's start here from the head coach of Rwanda, Mr. Kariros. Just almost one week uh, of training here in Huye new stadium, new facility, uh, new city, new environment, and um, of course uh, a promising result from the, 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 the first leg. How is your team going and uh, how are you preparing for the game tomorrow? Okay, um, hello everyone. <coughs> so first of all, we are happy to be here in Huye to, to play after the, the remodelation of the stadium that finished very well. And it's, uh, it's uh, especially also particularly for me the first game at home as a, as a national team coach, so it's a special game also for that situation. And about the, the team, the team we are, we are in, good, uh, in good situation. I think we are a little bit uh, in better situation than the, than the first game. We had much more time to prepare. We are playing at home uh, with our supporters and uh, in our country. So I hope that we will play a good game. The, the, the team is ready. We know the, the situation and we know what a difficult will be the game against Ethiopia because it's a really good team. But uh, we trust in our possibilities and we are ready to, to play a good game. Okay, you can take some questions uh, from the media. Thank you, Mr. Coach. First leg was draw, but what do you want to expect in your team? What expect the country? Or the, the who? Uh, Rwandan or Rwandan? Or Rwandan. Yeah. They expect that we will qualify. <laughs> I hope and I am sure that everyone expect that we will go to to the next channel and, and uh, we will go to Algeria and this is what everybody expect and also we as a staff and we as a players we, we expect to, to qualify this is our expectation it's not an easy game it's a game that we have to to play with high motivation because we have a country behind us and we know what what the country expect from us so we will give our 100 percent yeah, we can take the next question no problem feel free you can ask in French English or Kinyarwanda we'll translate Hi, coach. Hello. Uh, coach, in the first leg, uh, you played more uh, a defensive game. It, it was, a, in a way, game. Uh, tomorrow, it's a home game. Uh, can we expect a more attacking game tomorrow? Oh, yes. Just uh, in resume that we, we have to prepare a, a different game and uh, we have to do something more with the ball, especially to, to qualify. Uh, we were re we were happy about the the result in the first match, but now we have to 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 prepare a little bit different different plan to to try to qualify. Uh, then, coach, it, it was in a way game with a uh, few fans. Uh, tomorrow it will be in front of many Rwandan fans uh, in the stadium. Do you see that as a, an advantage, or uh, do you see that, uh, that the, the, will it help you? to win the game? This always is an advantage. So this uh, for us is, is very important that the stadium is full and the people stay with us. And uh, we are really excited to, to, to play the game in front of our fans. And uh, I think uh, they, they should help us to, to, to win the game. And I am sure that the supporters will be with the team and together we, we, can, we can get uh, our goal. Okay. Uh, we, uh, as uh, many games you played, the fourth game you played, we don't score many goals. Mm -hmm. What is your purpose on this match? Yeah, I think every game is different. Uh, we played very hard games. Uh, this is the reality against very strong teams like, like Mozambique or Senegal, uh, even Ethiopia. And it's not easy. It's true that we don't score a lot of goals, but also we don't receive a lot of goals. So this is the positive thing. And uh, also we, we play all the games away. And, and now 
No, it's a game, it's a final. It's, it's not a group stage, it's not a game that the draw can be good or can be... No, it's a game that you have or win or go home. And, <laughs> and we have to, to, to plan like that and we have to think that um, should be a different game. But uh, but as you see, actually in football it's not easy. The last the last I think uh, six games Ethiopia received zero goals in six games. So score goals is not easy for not for Rwanda for any team. It's not easy. And what we have to do is to win the game. And we we, we are training for that. And I think we are ready to 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 play a game for for win. Okay. Next question. Uh, coach. Uh, we saw in your last match against Ethiopia uh, the changes you made in the second half uh, brought balance in uh, in the means of playing for the national team Amavubi. Uh, can we expect any change tomorrow in terms of team selection? Your first eleven? Yeah, probably yes. Some changes is normal. We cannot talk about the which players will play. Uh, we cannot give too much info on that. But but. In football, I think we as a coaches, uh, usually the, the, the reporters and the people just, just focus about who start and who is the first 11. And as a coaches, for us, sometimes it's more important who finish, who finish the game. It's sometimes it's much more important than who start the game. And, and we focus a lot about the, the, the first 11. But to have a, a game plan and to, to be ready and, and to, to decide which players will be at the minute 90 in the field sometimes is much more important than, than which players are starting the game. So we have to think about the game plan and we have to, to take decisions and probably some change can, can happen, yeah. Coach, tell us about the fitness of what the Abdul and the Union Zemar VSF. Sorry about Abdul, eh? Abdul and the Nyonzi Mauri VSF have it, his old prayer fitness. Are they very good to start tomorrow? About Abdul, I think uh, Abdul is training well. Uh, he came because he has a big experience and uh, he can help uh, inside field, outside field always. is ready to help. And, and it's not easy situation for him because he didn't play any minute in, in, in all year. Uh, even now he signed for Rio and he couldn't play any minute in the league and even in the friendly matches, so it's not uh, the best situation for him. But we will see. We will see today. We have the last training. We have to to take the last decision and we will see what what we decide. And for Nyonzima, Olivier, Sef. I about Olivier when he came. Uh, to the to the camp, he was with a little bit problems in the knee. This is why he didn't play any minute in last match of uh, of his team in AS Kigali in the league. Uh, he didn't play any minute because he had some little bit problems on the knee. But last days he is training. He's training better with the team, and we are happy with 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 his training. And he's also ready and just uh, just uh, waiting my decision. <laughs> That's all. Okay, thank you. Just uh, wanted to hear one final word from, from your coach. We are in the new stadium, Uwe Stadium, just almost three months after starting the renovation works here. What is your feeling being in this stadium, being at the level of uh, other good international stadium uh, required at this level of competition? Just what is your feeling? I think the, the the stadium finish finish very very nice, very fresh, and everything is is new. And I think it's good, very good remodelation. It's good for for the country to to start to get uh, stadiums like 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 this. And I think in general our feeling is good. We are training here, and not only the everything, the facilities, the dressing room, the the, the, the conference. We we make the video analysis with the players here in the stadium because they have good facilities. So I think I think finish very very nice, and now what we have to do is to to make a good result, <laughs> and everything is better. No. Thank you. Good luck tomorrow. Thank